Los Angeles and San Diego, separated by a mere 116 miles of California coastline. However, the town's two teams worlds apart in the NL West standings, with the fourth place Padres 15 and a half games down on the Dodgers. And the Dodgers in front early in this one, leading it one zip in the third, and Casey Blake is adding on. Two men on, long and gone. That's a dozen dingers on the season for Blake. Four zip L.A., and that's why they lead the bigs with 51 wins. We go to the fifth. Chad Billingsley pitching for L.A., but how about what he did with his stick? To lead off the frame, first career big blast, 5 nothing Dodgers. Two batters later with Rafael Fercal on third. Juan Pierre, little bingo, scores for call. The Dodgers in front comfortably, six zip. As we go to the ninth for their closer, Jonathan Broxton. On in relief of Billingsley, he's already allowed one run to make it 6-3. Now with the bases loaded, he walks Eliezer Alfonso. It's now 6-4. Your next batter is Everth Cabrera. 3-2-1, contact. This scores the fourth and fifth. Padre runs of the frame. Alfonso punched out to end the inning, but it's 6-6, and we're headed to extras. Bottom 10. Padres have the bases loaded. One swing from a complete comeback win, but... Will Venable flies out harmlessly to end it, and even though they squandered the lead, the Dodgers aren't the kind of club to give extra chances because they will cash in. Top 13, James Loney to lead off the frame, a solo shot, and it'll go as your game winner. Jeff Weaver comes out of the bullpen to pitch the final three innings, striking out Kyle Banks to end it 7-6 the final in a game that takes more than four and a half hours and goes 13 innings. It also takes 13 pitchers before it's all said and done. Tough luck for Billingsley, who goes eight strong, allowing just four hits and three runs, not to mention hitting a homer, but settling for a no decision. Manny Ramirez, meanwhile, did not start the game, but appeared as a pinch hitter, flying out in the 11th.